All right, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. You're looking at a 300S Maserati in 063 aluminum. It was made by the students at the four-day class last weekend. And they worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday on it. It was Jason, uh, Jim, Keith, and Roland. And Roland and Keith were from Canada. Keith stayed for... I think nine days, and Roland was one of the uh, winners of my 10-day apprenticeship contest. So he's been here 10 days. This is his last day. Roland, you want to come into the picture? Is Roland. Roland, uh, have you had fun making this? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was uh, a huge learning experience. But yeah. And you hadn't done a reverse curve before. No, I never done a reverse curve. I never tipped an edge before, so there's a lot of new things. And most of the panels you made were small panels. Yeah. You would yeah. never have undertaken anything like yeah. this before. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, I was just doing little patch panels and all right. little dinky stuff at home. And do you think you could uh, take this challenge on now? Oh yeah. Yeah, you could go home and do something. Yeah, once you like break it down, it's not uh, it's not nearly as intimidating as I thought it would. Yeah, be and then, and the the wire form buck is just super simple. Yeah, it yeah. make you can weld right on it, and if yeah, panels yeah. fit to it, you clamp to them. Yeah, and you have to change something. It's super easy to change and modify. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We made a few adjustments. Yeah. We didn't get the uh, grill opening totally done. It needs to be rolled around the the modified. Uh, half inch tubing that we put in there replaced the, the wires that were in there and uh, mostly uh, Roland and Keith have done uh, the majority of this work here and it, there's a few places that still need a little tuning uh, you can show them where that uh, fill piece has got to be made yet we got to do the little fill by the uh, headlight oh, yeah. we got to make yeah. a little we never even got a chance to get to that and we got some welding to do but well, we got, you know, a good section of the nose. The hood, Keith and Roland made that hood. You can see it's just stunning. It's really, really nice. The actual dashboard piece is a steel piece from the old steel body that we made earlier. That's still got to be done. And I got a class starting Friday. Um, and that class will probably be working on this project too. Maybe we'll do a little bit more on the nose and a little bit on the, the rear end of it. But uh, it still has a lot of welding to do, a lot of trimming, a lot of edging. But you can see the essence of the design. This is one of the most spectacular uh, sports car designs ever. 19, I think probably about 53 was the first version of it. And this, I'm calling this a 55. It has uh, on this side, it's got a cross flow six cylinder engine in it, Maserati engine but that's impossible to get. So I'm gonna put probably a Jag 6 in it. And um, the, the exhaust is on this side and down below the door, maybe you can point that out, rolling down below the door, the outside pipes come right in there, right where he's pointing. And it looks really sweet. And the back end on this thing is just spectacular. So uh, probably next week we'll have another update on how the Maserati is coming. So uh, remember, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. Uh, we don't cut cars up and MIG weld them together. We actually take and make all the panels organically in an English wheel. We have a power hammer. We don't use that. We prefer the English wheel. It makes a beautiful finish. We TIG weld. We get really good results with our TIG welding. And uh, I found over the years that Anybody that really wants to do this can do this. It's uh, a lot of patience is the key to it. And uh, the results are spectacular. And the cost of making something like this is not that expensive. The materials, you add them all up, it's minimal. And uh, if you put a Jag 6 engine, you can buy a Jag 6 and a Tremec 6-speed. And the Jag, you buy a... a, a an 83 or 84 XJ6 rust bucket, save the motor, it's got fuel injection, you put Weber's on it, you got an independent rear end you can put into it, you use the JAG front end bits, and um, the seat's got a minimal, you can get fancy with it if you want. It, it doesn't have a top, you could make a top. So it's just an outstanding design. I think it's a 96, 
97 inch or a 98 inch wheelbase. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. But it's it's under 100 anyways. And it was designed by Minato Fantuzzi. He worked in a corner in the back of Maserati when he came up with this design. And everybody copied him. It's just so awesome. So I can't wait to get this thing done. We did it before in steel, before COVID. And then I parked it. And now I'm really excited about getting it finished. So it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton. Please subscribe. Give us your comments, the likes. Hit that little notification bell. And uh, tell your friends. Share this video. We need. We, uh, my YouTube is doing terrible. Of course, I haven't been doing too many videos because I'm so busy. But uh, hopefully if I get some positive results from my audience, I'll do some more videos. So thanks again. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop. Good night.